So I, um, <laughs> I think we need to have like a, a semi-serious talk because I, I'm just floored by what I was made aware of last night. So a lot of us saw how Jay received threats for being on my panel. I can tell you months back that Trevor Lee received ultimatums for being on my panel. And I myself have received six, six or seven emails since this all took place with threats against me. I didn't consider coming to YouTube with them because YouTube can't help me, right? I took them to my police. I have them printed. I have them saved. And they'll go to the attorney. Never crossed my mind to bring them to YouTube. The emails have been gross. It was brought to my attention that somebody did a stream where they said that they were emailed about an alleged threat that was placed in a chat that there is no proof of. As somebody who obviously watches over my own chat and was also in the other chat, I can assure you, nobody wrote a comment like that and got away with it. None of us would ever see a comment like that, simply delete it and not speak against it. Now the alleged threat was something about locking a door and lighting somebody's house on fire. You know, a lot of them were saying, okay, so I'm glad you said that, Sherry, because I'm going to play you all a, clip, a little clip really quick. Some of, these, some of the green team and chatters would like a lit liquor or a pothole before oh, going. thank you, uh, Nana. Yeah, it's, it's unbelievable. So the panel guest says, some of us would like to know if it was a lit liquor or a butthole. Now, given that Brittany was one of the people that spread around this lie that I sent a photo of my butthole with hemorrhoids who later got on a QB's panel with me and admitted that she knew that was a lie, but she spread it anyway. For somebody who is in litigation with me by choice to allow her panel guest to say that, and not correct it. Some oh. of your, some of the green team and chatters would like a lit liquor or a pothole before oh, you go. Thank in. you, uh, Nana. Yeah, a it's, it's unbelievable. Or a pothole before oh, you go. Thank you, or uh, a pothole. So the panel guest says some of us would like to know if it was a lit liquor or a butthole. Now, given that Brittany was one of the people that spread around this lie that I sent a photo of my butthole with hemorrhoids who later got on a QB's panel with me and admitted that she knew that was a lie, but she spread it anyway. For somebody who is in litigation with me by choice to allow her panel guest to say that and not correct it. I would go after everyone. I would too. Hell sun. yeah, I would. I would. I'd go after and I'd get every, every single penny they have made off my child would be going back in my pocket. That's one thing I've said with everything going on with me. I hope this person spends every penny they've made off my name in the past two years and spends it on fighting me. I hope you do. We all know that's what Betty's doing to Queen, dry, trying to dry out her pockets, right? I think that these mm -hmm. people that have sat here and, and people say, well, Granny, you're doing, no, no, no. I don't have ads on right now. I'm not monetized. I, nope. I mean, I am monetized, but you know what I mean? I don't have ad revenue on when I talk about these things. But some of these people are talking about making it rain. You can see their cash app scrolling across the top of their screen as they're, you know, berating and, and def defaming these parents. I hope they, I do. I, I would donate to that. I would absolutely donate to them to seek out legal action against these creators. There's only two creators I know that have been legally held accountable, and that's Critical K and uh, Armchair Detective. It goes on to say, from what I've been made aware of, how people are asking for thousands, and she's only asking for cameras as she's crying. Does she not realize that she did this? Does she not realize that I am not raising thousands of dollars so I can buy myself a nice new computer or perhaps get myself new tires on my vehicle? That this thousand dollars is just the beginning to fight myself against the, 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 the initials she put next to her declaration or a new phone while Ministry of Defense, so I'm there with you. And this is why I'm saying this is a serious, serious conversation. I had no choice. I'm not on the side where we're strong arming people and I have eight other you know, people with me and free attorneys and all of that. I'm on the receiving end of what, in my opinion, is frivolous allegations. And I'm grifting for cameras. Like y'all are really coming at me about cameras when all of you over there have fun, whole ass thousands and thousands of dollars worth of fundraisers. And, and you're gonna run your mouth about me saying that I need to get some cameras? Really? To be honest, everybody should have cameras. Pot meat kettle. Amazon is a cootie queen.
They are 100% a damn cootie queen. If there was ever a cootie queen, Amazon is a damn cootie queen. Okay. Makers. Amazon, thank you for being a cootie queen. Yeah. <laughs> you lit liquor. You son of a biscuit eating bulldog. What the French toast? Did you think I wouldn't find out about your little doo doo head cootie queen? Who are you calling a cootie queen, you lint liquor? Pickle you, come quack! You're overreacting. No, Bill, overreacting was when I put your convertible into a wood chipper. Stinky McStink face! You Hoboken. Fabulous! New Orbit Raspberry Mint cleans another dirty map. <laughs> Your tire's all flat and junk. <laughs> oh, did I do that? Here, let me get my cellular out. Call, Call your, your record. record. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I got no phone. Because I'm a I'm pothole. A pot so... Okay, <laughs> bye. So... Accidents are bad. <laughs> but that goes good with emergency roads.